hello everybody now we are going to talk about the modification of the rule but before we start talking about the modifications of the rule i make you i want to make a point clear that there are three types of rule system maybe you were knowing this but let me still make the point rule systems can be divided into three types so let's divide uh what is it and uh yes rule systems can be divided into three categories like that we start three categories one two and that third one what are the categories these categories are the first one is the tap rule system then the second category is that of the fibrous fibrous root system and the third one is that of the the adventitious system that is the shear So what are these? Let me explain with the help of diagrams. The tap root system, the tap root system, there is a main, main root, and all the other roots develop as branches from this main root like this, and there can be further sub branches and sub branches. This type of root system. is observed mainly in dicot plants this is a well diagram for we can explain the tap roots dicot plants also find the tap okay now what is a fibrous root system this kind of root system is observed in many crop plants what happens is in this kind of root system a primary root develops at first it behaves like a tap root but this doesn't uh, last for long and it gets destroyed this primary root develops and till a small bit and then gets destroyed as soon as destroyed it okay and now from the stem from the lower part of the stem roots arise the stem creates this roots so this is and the roots have a common point of origin as you can see there is no main axis this common point of origin and fibrous like so they are named as fibrous roots they look like this okay they are observed in many crop plants and the adventitious roots are they are not the roots what you think to be they are roots develop they can be above ground roots and other they are roots that develop like for example a common example we need that banyan tree they uh, are can be crop roots like if there is a banyan tree like this so they are banyan It will be the branches, branch of the banyan tree. Okay. Let me try my best again. They are banyan. There will be branches, and the other sub branches will be also there. But you have, you have observed that the banyan tree, the crop roots hang out like this. Okay. So this type of root can be called crop roots, or definitely, but. This is a part of the adventitious root system. These are also roots. Okay, so like this, or or you may say, let me write or with pencil. I'm going to write it this. Okay, or in a plant pandanus, or let me give a common example, sugar cane. Still roots can be observed. What are still roots? Here, like that. There's a branch, and to give support to the branch. Two cellular from like this, from the node region. These roots, these roots can hold the branch upright. So these are known as steel roots, and this is also a type of the adventitious root system. So to learn the modifications of the root system, we need to be clear about the different types of root system that are there. Ah, uh, this one is easy to see that. Let me name it. 
to ban your entry. Okay. I am not writing with a light pen. I am writing with my mouth. Yeah. And writing pen. Yeah. Ban your entry. Okay. Uh, super thing. So this was only to explain you the different types of root system, the fibrous root system, the sorry, the tap root system, the fibrous root system, and the adamant root system. That's it. I think the video has already gone through the five minutes and thirty five seconds. In the next video, we will talk about the main, the modification of the root system. Bye for now.